In this video, we are going to look at how TCP functions versus how UDP functions. In TCP, it requires that a connection is established, whereas in UDP, it is a connectionless protocol. TCP is reliable. You know exactly how much of the data you tried to send reached the destination. UDP is unreliable. You don't know if the packet was dropped or if it reached its destination or if it was duplicated or even sent out of order. TCP is slower, it has more overhead, while UDP is fast, has less overhead. So we know that UDP is unreliable, and TCP is reliable, and UDP is fast, but TCP is slow. So when would we use UDP, and when would we use TCP? TCP is good for something like a chat application. It's good when something isn't necessarily time sensitive. However, you still want to make sure that the data does definitely reach its destination. UDP, however, is good when you just want to send something fast, but you don't necessarily care if the packet got dropped. For example, if you're playing a game like Counter-Strike or some kind of Twitch shooter, the position of your character might be updated using UDP. The position in these kinds of games is updated many times a second. So if one packet gets lost, it's not a big deal. You can just rely on the next packet to overwrite what that lost packet had missed out on. Let's take a look regarding reliability on how TCP and UDP actually function when sending packets. TCP works like a stream. So if we attempt to send a packet of 1200 bytes, we have pretty much two options, considering that the connection doesn't get dropped. We could either have all 1200 bytes be sent, or we could have only part of that packet be sent. For example, maybe the first 400 bytes were successfully sent, but the rest of the packet was not. So we still have 800 bytes that we need to attempt to send again. UDP is a bit different though. In UDP, there are no partial packets, as it doesn't work like a stream like TCP does. In UDP, either the full packet makes it, or the full packet does not make it at all. Another thing is in UDP, packets may arrive out of order. Another thing is in UDP, packets may be duplicated. You might attempt to send a packet one time, but it actually gets sent four times, for example. Let's look at a few examples of what we might expect with UDP. So let's say that you're attempting to send three packets, packet A, packet B, and packet C in that order. The best case scenario is that the receiver receives packet A, packet B, and packet C in that same order, and there is no packet loss and no packet duplication, and it's all in the correct order. Another thing that could happen was that the packets get received out of order. For example, the receiver might receive packet A, and then packet C, and then packet B. Another example is the receiver might receive duplicate packets. Maybe it would receive packet A three times, and packet C two times. On top of receiving duplicate packets, the packets could also be out of order. The last example shown here is packets could be dropped. All of the packets could be dropped, or in this example, only packet B might be dropped while packet A and C make it through. Both TCP and UDP have their place, but in these tutorials we will primarily focus on TCP until the end where we might cover a UDP series. This will be the last video in the pre-networking series, and the next video will begin covering the beginner C++ networking TCP series using blocking sockets.